guys, my name is Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing um, some four point meal exercises, working our core and our glutes. All you will need today is a mat, if you have some sliders, grab some sliders. Otherwise, I have, I've got some really slippery towels, so I've just got some socks on. These will do me really good. Uh, and we're gonna get straight into it. So we're going to be starting by just warming up our wrists, yeah? So starting by giving those wrists a little bit of a roller before we do a lot of work on them. And then just rolling them back the other way. And then we're going to clasp those hands nice and tight and then just start flicking those fingers. Keep going, can you go faster? And then start taking those arms up and down. And up and down. I love to do this to really get those forearms working. I learned it in a yoga class and I absolutely love it. Yeah, it really just gets those wrists warming up, prepping before we're doing a lot of work on our hands. All right, give those hands a bit of a shake out and then give your shoulders a little bit of a roll out. We're gonna find our four point meal now. So when we're hitting our four point meal, we're gonna be starting with our knees. Nice and close to the edge of the mat. Yeah, you can walk them forward a little bit. And then we want to lay your fingers out, hands up underneath the shoulders, and we are pushing away with our arms. So we're staying nice and strong through that upper body. We have a bit of a neutral spine, so we have a little curve into our lower back. And I just want you to pull your weight back slightly into the heels, just so you're not putting too much weight on the hands, yeah? And then from there, we're just going to start with a few cat and cows. Arch in the back rounding the spine. Now as we arch the back, we're going to inhale and then we exhale and we round our spine. And let's add some breath. Make sure that that's an exhale as you round and I want you to start to think about your core. So using those abdominals, drawing your tummy up towards the spine. And then we're just going to find that part of the middle, that neutral. Now holding the hips nice and still, we're gonna be starting with our right leg. We're going to tuck the toe under and then we're going to hold the hips completely still as we slide that leg out and then we bring it back in. It's an exhale, sliding it out. Inhale, bring it back in. Now as we're doing this, we're squeezing our bottom. We're pushing through our heel. Again, holding the hips still. And then I want you to really think about your lower abdominals. So we're trying to draw the hip bones across and together. Rib cage is sliding to meet those hips. And I am a terrible counter, so I reckon that's about six-ish. <laughs> Let's go for another four more. And then we're gonna add on. And three. Two. Last one. Now, as we slide it out, we're going to add a little kick up. Dig up, press into the heel, kick it up, and then bring it back in. Take it out, up, and bring it back in. Again, we're holding the hips still. We're not thinking about height, we're thinking about length. Pushing through the heel, squeezing the bottom, working into that right glute. You may feel that left glute working as well because it is your supporting leg. Option to add in the opposite arm. We take the arm out, we lift them both up together, and then we take it back down. Let's just go for another four more. And three. And two. Last one. We're gonna hold this leg back, flex the foot, pulse it up, up, up. Again, we're trying to hold the hips Facing towards the ground, yes, so they're nice and square. Squeezing the bottom, pressing into the heel. We're here for five, four, three, two. Hold it there, point the toe, circle it around. We've got five, four, three, two. Reverse the circle, take it back the other way. Three, two, one, bring it back down if you need to. Give your wrist a little bit of a roll up. 
Now, if you do find you, do, you don't have the best wrist, that's fine. You can grab a coffee table, chuck your forearms on a coffee table. If you happen to have a reformer box lying around, that is the perfect height, yeah, to bring your forearms onto there, just so you get it out of the wrist. If you need to have a rest at any stage, please do so. All right, going back into it, same side still. We slide the leg out, we hold, we then turn the leg out. So we're trying to drop that heel down slightly without letting the hips rotate and open. Hold them still, we take it out to the side, and then we bring it back. Out, and then if you can, you try to cross it back behind the other leg just a little bit, yeah? Option to make it a little bit more challenging. Make sure your core is on. You start using the other arm as well. Out, and in. Out, and in. We just got four more. And three. Two. Last one. And then come back and relax. Now, before we do the other side, we're going to alternate those legs, yeah? So, we're going to go with one leg. We slide it out. Bring it in. Other leg. And in. Now, as we are changing these legs over, hips are trying to stay as still as possible. So, you really need to think about your abdominals. You're pushing away with the arms, so we're staying nice and strong. So, your mid-back stays pressed up against your shoulder blades. We've just got four more. And three. Two. And last one. And then we do it all again on the other side. Again, if you need to give your wrist a little bit of roll up, now it's time to do so. Give it a bit of a shake. If you are finding, again, those wrists again, so you can roll the mat up and place the heels of your hands right on the edge of the mat. Again, that will take a little bit of pressure out of the wrist or just pull your weight back a little bit further towards your knees. All right, let's go again. Okay, so starting with that left leg now, sliding it out and bring it in. Exhale, push through the heel. We're doing about 10 of these. I say about because I have no idea. It was about 10 on the last side, I'm gonna say. <laughs> We got about five to go. Exhale as you push into that heel. Four. Hold those hips still. Three. Two. Now we start adding that lift up. So we push away, we lift, and then we come back down. Exhale, lift. And lift. And again, we have about five to go. Holding those hips still, thinking about the abdominals. Yeah, like you're trying to pull your tummy away from your tights or your belt line. Two to go, then we hold it up. Last one, hold it up, flex the foot, pulse it up. Up, up. Really thinking about that left glute now, squeezing as you pulse. We're not trying to get height, we're trying to get length. Now pointing the toe, little circles around, around. If we start to take it up too high, we start dipping into the back, yeah? So as long as you're holding the hips still, you can take it up a little bit higher and reverse that circle. Three, two, one, bring it back in. Give those wrists a little bit of a shake out. And then we're taking the leg out to the side, yeah? I'm gonna try not to hit these plants. <laughs> All right, so coming back into that full foot now. Push away, take the leg out, turn the leg out, yeah? So we're turning out from the tops of the hips. Hold those hips still, we take it out to the side. And then we come back in if you can. Try to cross it over the other leg. Inhale as you take it out, exhale as you pull it back across. Inner thighs are working a little bit on these ones as well, especially as you try to cross it behind the other leg. You need, really need to squeeze those inner thighs together. Make sure you keep energy through your fingers as well. It's kind of like your hands are suction cups and you're trying to really push away from the ground the whole time. 
We have about two to go. Last one. Bring that leg back to center and we go back into our alternating ones. So we slide it out and this time we're going to add some arms in. Bring it back in, out and in. Now make sure you keep pushing away with the arms. We just have four to go. Three, two, last one. Come back in, sit back on the heels and just give those wrists one more roll out. Excellent job, give them a bit of a shake. And we're done, nice and easy, yeah, nice and quick. What you can do is you can do this whole thing again, yeah, if you wanna go on your forearms and you can, um, if you don't have anything to lean on, you can do it on your forearms. Just watch that your bottom wheel stick up in the air. Yeah, and you can do the whole thing on your forearms. Keep pushing away with the arms. Make sure we're not collapsing down into our shoulder blades and arching into the back. Keep your core on. So you, that is an option if you would like to do it again. Um, or if you've got some ankle weights, yeah, you can chuck some ankle weights on. You can make it a little bit harder by holding the opposite arm out the whole time. As you take the leg out and in, you can add some pulls in with the arm to make it a little bit more challenging. So there are different options here. So with these ones, with all these little workouts, what I like to do is I like to do like this one and then pair it on with another one, yeah? If I wanna do two rounds of this, then I might go do a sideline series, work my inner thighs, work my outer glutes, and then maybe do an ab series as well, and they really pair nicely together, yeah? Just those little sets, so you can really mix and match them. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you give this video a like. If you have any other videos that you would like me to do for you, let me know in the comments, or um, just DM me on Instagram, and I will get back to you. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.